How to assess social isolation remains a challenge that confronts both clinicians and researchers. Good measures are needed to identify at-risk populations, as well as to evaluate improvement following clinical interventions. The most critical issue is the focus of an assessment for social isolation. In particular, what aspect of social ties should be measured? Families are very important for older adults, but so are friends and neighbors. Families are the primary source of social support at times of illness, whereas friendships can contribute to positive mental health. Participating in clubs, organizations, or similar activities have all been suggested as important aspects of social integration. Such social behaviors increase opportunities to nurture existing social ties as well as cultivate new ones. To illustrate a response to these measurement concerns, I want to use the Love and Social Network Scale, or LSNS. I won't go into much detail about this scale because we produced another video that describes the development of the LSNS and reports on its use in a wide array of research studies. You can find it on our website, and there will be a link on the credits for this program. In 2003, we published a revised 12-item version of the LSNS that we labeled the LSNSR. We also developed a six-item abbreviated version that we labeled LSNS-6. In this talk, I will use the LSNS-6 to illustrate measurement aspects of social isolation. The LSNS-6 has a series of three questions for assessing family ties and a comparable set of questions assessing friendships. The set of questions for the LSNS-6 are shown in this slide. The lead-in for family items is considering all the people you are related to by birth, marriage, adoption, and so forth. The lead-in for the friendship items is considering all the friends, including those who live in your neighborhood. Scores on the LSNS-6 range from 0 to 30. Cronbach Alpha scores for the LSNS-6 are relatively high, like this alpha of 0.77. In 2006, we published a study where we used the LSNS-6 to assess social isolation in three different European countries. We had a sample in London, a sample in Hamburg, another sample drawn in Solothurn, a rural area of Switzerland. In all three countries, social isolation, as measured by the LSNS-6, was consistently associated with a wide array of health measures. A few years later, we conducted a longitudinal study in Los Angeles using the LSNS-6 as a measure of social isolation. The focus of this study was on identifying factors that increased the risk of cognitive impairment. We found that those in the study who were deemed socially isolated at baseline were twice as likely as those with strong social ties to report symptoms of cognitive impairment by the end of the four-year period of the study. From a measurement standpoint, both of these studies focused on the nature and extent of social ties with family and friends. When measuring social isolation, it is essential to be fully aware of the focus of the assessment tool. The focus infers potential target of interventions to eradicate the social isolation condition. Further, a differently focused measure of social isolation, such as a focus on participation in social activities, could have yielded different research results, as we report in a separate video describing the LSNS.